The two spectres were probably... The two lovebirds. Who died here. Maybe starving? Dying of thirst? Because they were trapped when the cellar collapsed in on them. I guess this is a reminder that even here in Tucson, we don't always get a happy ending. It may be a sad story, but it is a very Toussaint story, isn't it? I mean, two lovers dying together, probably very drunk, having consumed rather a lot of alcohol, wine. I mean, maybe they actually died of alcohol poisoning before they starved or died of thirst. That would probably be better, maybe? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find a silver lining. There is a silver lining for me. Not only was there quite a lot of loot in here, there does seem to be a chest. Which is why I'm here, actually. Charité Gontran de Tufo's Journal. Okay, we've got the Grandmaster Ursine Silver Sword, the Main Armor, and the Gauntlets. And we've got some wine. Finally, a response to my notice. A witcher, big as a mountain and bearded as a dwarf. He asked about the contract, then said he'd take it for about as much coin as we've set aside for Fifi's dowry. That's some nerve, but I had no other choice. I had to agree. The witcher claims the problems are caused by some subterranean monster. He searched the area and found an entrance to a complex of caves by a stream in the Marchessant Forest. He plans to enter through it tomorrow. The Witcher hasn't returned. Some elf from the city asked about him. Now that's some nerve giving our address to non-humans. Okay, so that's where we're at. Enough of this. I'll never hire a Witcher again. I will soon be ten days since he took his retainer and disappeared. I plan to sell the things he left behind to recover the last portion of my losses. Too bad he mostly just left scraps with scribblings that no one will want to purchase. If only you had known and not been a horrific well, racist. Beast the Witcher was hunting. Doesn't seem like he killed it. Gotta keep my eyes peeled. Okay. Subterranean caverns to check out. Now, oh, oh, it's over there. Right, so here's the thing. I was on my way to the Manticore gear. Yes, I was. I really want the Manticore gear. And of course, there is there is a notice board here. Find the quarry foreman. Wait, when I first looked at that, didn't it say the... Oh no, that's the Tufo monster. That one is the, the Quarry Foreman, level 38. I just kind of want to nip back to Corvo Bianco and check on the, on, the, on the building. I think it needed, was it two days for it to be done? Was it two days? It was probably two... It's not that far, is it? It's not that far. It really is not. It's not that far. I've not actually made this run yet, so it'll be a bit of an interesting trip. Then I'm going to go to this to this notice board, and then I'm going to do these tasks I promised myself I was going to do whilst getting the manticore gear. I want the bloody manticore gear. Yes, I do. I want the manticore gear. Let's just quickly head back to Corvo Bianco. And once... What is that down there? That ruins... Have I? Oh, it's the prison. Been there. Don't need to go there again. Uh, nothing really of interest. Now there's a little little voice inside of me saying, well, while you're on your way to your to your vineyard, why don't you uh, go get the other witch gear? I mean, it's kind of on the way. The problem is, is that voice keeps leading me halfway around the... No, I tell you what, we drop the stuff off, drop the stuff off, check in on Corvo Bianco, then dr drive, ride back, check the Grandmaster Ursine gear on the way to this notice board and to find out about the quarry foreman. The bovine blues, apparently they're having a bit of an issue with cows falling out of the sky. Now, I mean, I've commented 
on the interesting weather here in Tucson. But raining cows, that is definitely a new one, even for a witcher, I think. Or is it? For all I know, this is something I've seen before. Maybe it's just, you know, it's like the third or fourth time. Or maybe I've seen rains of pigs. And cows is just a bit of a welcome change. I, I really don't actually know. My memory's going. I'm old. Leave me be. It, that's a water hag. Um, oh. Okay, I don't currently have any oils on my sword. Let's. Okay. Um. Okay. No, right, you cannot repost against those. Oh, God. I'll tell you what. God. <laughs> You know what? Axe will get. She is actually doing a bit of damage to me. Oh! I dodged! I really dodged! I dodged! Can't smack me in the face with mud if I've dodged it. That's just. Were you guarding something? Okay, that does. I was going to follow the path, actually. I was going to follow the the path around... Oh, fine. I should take a potion. Actually, I should have taken some food and drink instead. That is not a good start to the day, is it? No, it's not. You, I can rip off against. Okay. I reposted, but I got stunned. Oh, oh, don't repost when they do those big jumping attacks. You know what? Stop getting complicated with drowners. Just hit them with your sword until they stop moving. Let's let's just stick with that as the plan, right? Good plan, great plan kind of thing. I believe this is the... Yes, this is the inn where I started off, which means... Where's Roach? Roach? Bro, you. I've, I've traveled this road, therefore. Roach, where the hell are you? Come on, dude. Nice one. There's no way you can convince me you were hidden behind anything. Go, go. You just. You should just come out with it and go. In front of my face. Save time. Save all the hassle, save all the pretense. We all know you're a demonic horse. And I just hung around waiting for you to save myself. Basically, probably 20 seconds. Yeah, where's the cat? No. Alright, we'll run her over on the way out. Might not be a her, might be... Hey! <laughs> I mean, I kind of wish you'd finished, but... Actually, maybe not. Maybe this is actually better. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Don't I have a... Don't I have a... Uh, oh, oh I, I, I can see it. I've got a... Armour or weapons table over... Yes! We've... Here we go. Your items have been... Enhanced! Nice! How long does that last? That's the question. I think they last 15 minutes, don't they? My head so bad. Not too long. Probably should do it on the way hands. out, but... Hello! Oh, it's, my ready to it's, a, it's a bit busy here, isn't it? Make sure they don't steal anything, okay? Renovation's coming along all right. Wonderfully. The furnishings you last had me order have arrived. Furnishings? Okay, ooh! Ever play Gwen? No, no, no. Uh, do we need to do something more? Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? I agree. Yet I would urge you to hold off on further construction until okay. the ongoing work is done. Juggling can be a challenging art. 
It's best not to undertake too much at once. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Thanks. Got to get back to my business I'll now. come back in another day then, shall I, and see if this has been now uh, done, finished. I'm kind of excited about this. I'm really... Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so, really, really... I'm sorry. I should have been... I'm sorry. I should have been looking where I was going. I know. Yes. Okay, no. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. This is... This is going to look cool. And yes, I, I did just... Come here. I did just travel all the way back here. But no That's actual it, reason. Which is slightly annoying, but only slightly. It wasn't that far, to be honest. If you if you actually look at it, I just crossed the bridge and uh, just travel up the road a little. And because I've now travelled the road, I will gallop. Yes, I will. Right, we want to head north from here. And I'm pretty sure I've not been this way before. So, back on foot we go. They have definitely not been here before. What are they doing here? Castle off in the distance. Or a town with a notice board and a problem with cows falling out of the sky. No, I think beyond that is actually a castle as well. There's going to be a town up ahead, not too far, but that's quite far, isn't it? The castle? I believe so. What are they building here? I see a wooden construction. This... Okay, no, this... I was about to say this looks a little... Quiet, but it's actually... Maybe they're all on a break. They're all on a break. Nothing's wrong. Everything is fine. Let's... Oh, there's a... Also an armourer? Or at least an armourer's table. Up ahead. Alright. Blacksmith. You don't look like a quarry man to me. That stand in the way of our doing business? No. It merely means I doubt you'll find anything of use here. I mainly stock goods for the men at the quarry. Hammers, spikes, hand cream. But if you want a glance, feel free. I shan't stop you. Oh, you're a real welcoming fellow. He's pretty okay. You always this personable? Or do you just get up he on was the wrong side of the bed that this was, morning? What? I got up on the right side. I always do. My left leg's been lame ever since my accident. Okay. I worked here once, see? Breaking stone. Until a part of a rock face fell away and crushed my foot. Mm, sorry. Feel foolish now. You should! I did not, not mean to, to sound that rude. Such things are commonplace here. Part of the job. Every now and then someone breaks something. Twists an ankle. Or their neck. All right, um, let's just see what he's got in case. Show me what you got. Um, uh, oh, he's got money is what he's got. And do I have anything? No, I've, I've not really picked anything up since my last trading thing. So, no, you know what? Gotta go. But I am looking Farewell. for a foreman. I'm... Here. Buy a full set of gear, get a bottle of Fiorano free. Okay. Okay. My items have been enhanced. I've refreshed the uh, the enchantment. All right. I am... Um, is it below? Is that what it is? It's probably below. Okay. Oh, it is below. Little red arrow. Um. Ah! The, there's a cave. What the golly blasting devils are you doing, man? What plague? An unfortunate turn of events, that's all. Get back to chiseling. If we don't deliver that hat on time, the infesto will twist my plums off. Don't Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist. 
Some mage or warlock. Or a witcher. What happened here? Look, it's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something. An exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Saw your notice. Got a problem with a cow? Fear a plague, is that it? Yes, indeed, and a horrid one at that. We've asked the gods something true we have. In Zeracania, they've sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows down on us. Um... Enough! Enough! No need to so panic! Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. Someone with a catapult? Throwing cows at them? Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed, to be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot, no. Right away they started in screaming, PLAGUE! Demanding higher wages for hardship. Poor working conditions, you see? They'll ruin me, the blotters. Mm, my job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other bit. Oh, right. Fear to venture there. Okay. It could just be a cow fell off the cliff. Not surprised. Cow. Where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and a meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter and take on the contract? Yeah, what exactly are you doing here? That is a good question, isn't it? What not? exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the Prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. Okay. But we would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master, will you look into it? Is this related to the... I, I did one something about Boots quest or something, part three of... I don't know. I, they're, they're all linked, aren't they? This is for the head? We're carving the head. Sure. Need to know more about this accident. Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterv had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear-botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt. Has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what exactly am I doing here? My reward, let's talk about it. Um... <sighs> No, for, for the 30 or 40 coins it's going to get me. Um, Fine, I'll look into it. Might be a botched I'm portal. I'm keeping any bits of cow. Lapiota reward portal. you with progeny plenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. Is, it, is this because I'm a witch or I just automatically go to the magical, insane sounding plan? It couldn't have just been someone was drunk and messing around and took a cow up for a walk up there and it fell and killed someone. I mean, obviously I've got to find the actual place, but... Could not be something like that, or it ran off a cliff in the dark. I mean, no, no. It has to be a portal. That's what I think. And the, and those guys think it's basically the gods raining cows on them. Well, it would seem both my contract and the notice board are together. Up there, I guess. How much stone do you need to quarry for one statue's head? Hmm? I mean... Okay. Possibly not. What have we got? Right, we got ghouls or al ghouls or both. Let's get the necrophage oil sorted. And... Again, there's a cow. I suppose it could have. Eh, 
Seems a little unlikely. They'd have had to have shoved it quite far, wouldn't they? Yes, they would. Huh? What's this about? What? Ah! Oh! Really? Have you only just noticed them? You guys are blind as bats. Where's the? All right. Where's the? How do I get down there? What's this about? Uh, this is about me trying to figure out how to get down there without. Whoa! Oh, there it is. There oh, it is. Got around. it. Oh, what about the tracks? What? What? Something about tracks? What? Something about tracks? What was that about? Oh god, that's an owl ghoul. Oh, I'm stuck on a... That is an owl ghoul. Okay, so I'm gonna need to... Okay, got it. Okay. Come on, get bow. Nope. I don't have to reach with this weapon, do I? Okay. So, examine the cow carcass and the workman's body. But before you do that... No, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Let's focus on one thing at once. We've got a... Oh. Oh, that's a claw mark. Something clawed it, picked it... It was dropped! We've got a griffin! Or something. We've Must got... Must be a meal. Workers mentioned him. Poor guy. Unlucky as all hell. Right. Now, where do I start? Okay. Wounds on the worker's body. Crushed by something heavy. <laughs> Skull base is cracked. <laughs> Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Really? That's what I got from it. What I got from it was... Checking his wounds, I believe he was killed by something heavy. The large cow lay on top of him didn't help come to that conclusion, even slightly. Blunt trauma wounds on the cow. Oh, no, wrong. No, no, I wrong. Crushed button. by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. <laughs> Still Fresh funny, though, isn't marks. It? Okay, Next. yeah, no, come on. Won't learn anything else from the body. No, we definitely won't. You know what? Uh, blunt trauma wounds on the cow. Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. Yep. Bite wounds on the cow. Got sliced open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Oh. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left him clearly. So sure sniffed out their feast fast. The necrophages basically opened it up after it had died. Punctures and slashes on the cow. Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. Draconid, okay. Probably. But these Not wounds weren't the though. cause of death. A griffin's small. They probably are. We, we used a sheep last time, didn't we? Not a cow. Draconids. Okay. Um... Right. Oh. Ooh, okay, we, we, we got some things to loot. Ghoul parts, mostly. Uh, but... Examine the cow carcass and the workman's body. Haven't I already done that? I've done that! What? Did I right. miss one? Now, where do I start? Where do I start is not the thing. Oh, oh, right. Number one has changed. Cause of the accident... Wounds on the worker's body, blunt... Uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. Yeah, that is pretty unlucky, actually. And then there's the crane. Then there's the crate. You don't think the thing crashed whilst it was dropping it, do you? Body. Did, did, did the draconid fall? Okay, we got stuff underneath. I don't think that's what I'm looking for, is it? No. Well, unless I'm looking for loot, which I might be. Uh, I'm... Not seeing anything. Investigate how the crane was damaged. 
Do I have to go over it? I think I have to go over it. Yes, indeed. Am I going to have to... Oh, right. Here's what's going to have happened. The Draconid dropped the cow, tried to catch it, flew into the crane, got himself damaged, and then crawled into the the mine, right? Uh, oh, do I have to go up higher? Fair enough. We're looking... Ah, I see something. Here we go. Blood. Dragon, it must have hit it pretty hard. Dropped the cow, then probably tried to steady its flight. Got hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. Use your witcher senses to follow the wounded draconid's trail? Okay. Traces of draconid blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. So I was wrong about the mine. All right, fair enough. Okay. Just keep following it. I can't inspect it. I was wrong about the mine. I thought it had crawled into there. It's gone back to its lair. Uh, wait a minute. Why, why have I not done this already? Uh, draconid. Draconid. How are we doing on the sword, by the way? 87%. Everything's reasonably fit for combat. How long is my... Uh... Yeah, okay. The armor and the sword boost are wearing off slowly, but not that slowly. Should get some use. Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. Okay. I'm seeing more up there, and I'm hearing noises. Okay, I think I can hear it. Hmm. Okay, no, 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 that smells like sour mash. Must attack the local distillery. Get out of it, bastard. Yeah, okay, no, no. Get out of there. Get away from the rock fiend. Okie dokie. Rock fiend. So we got rock fiend. Okay. No. Still. Strike and get out of there. Where was the other one? There he is. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Okay. Yeah, that. that. Almost went badly there. Little carried away on the hits. So. What did we have up here? More blood? Landed on the roof of the distillery. Raised a ruckus, made a mess, then moved on. So we had a draconid land here. Potatoes. I don't really need potatoes. No, I don't. It's just a distillery. I'm, I'm going to assume this is all abandoned stuff. Duff, no, oh. Bootlegger's note. Okay, well, it was a bootlegger, so he was probably doing something illegal anyway, right? That's, that's, that's. Not saying I'm going to take his potatoes, though. So I say to that Minister Tremblay, the whole Sansreter Valley is overrated. Those wines, why, don't get me started on Est Est. Ever since they've started mass producing it, they should call it a Tay a Tay. But it's definitely seen better days. Then he says, right you are, always been a Coat de blessure chap myself. In fact, between you and me, I even prefer it to Sangriel. You know the, the wine reserved for her illustrious highness and her inner circle. And then, the fool I am, I blurt out, Oh, I agree. Whenever her grace has m me taste it, I've got to swill my mouth out with vodka afterwards to wash out that rancid taste. Oh, come on. I was drunk, wasn't I? Talking out of my bum. Well, turns out I had rather overvalued my position at court. Tremblay needed but say a word in the Duchess's ear, and in three shakes of a donkey's tail, I was out on the street. The job of ducal taster's been given back to Benoit. Can you believe it? After that scandal involving Baroness Nique and Colleen. As for me, well, what was I supposed to do? Had no choice but to start making and drinking my own brews. That's always been my true passion. Oh. Yeah, is he around here dead? I don't see him. Paw prints. Crawled through here. Clearly too tired to fly. Okay, what am I seeing over there? Damn it. Half 
Hayden body oh. with scorch marks. Hmm. That's a body? Not a oh, I can see the foot now. Slizzard. Gotta be. Slizzard! Fire. Okay, we've got another slizzard. But right, doesn't look like this guy is coming back. But again, I don't think there's anything but pears and potatoes. He was just out here making some brews when a draconid landed on him. In a bad way. Barely crawling. All right. Mm, second draconid landed here. A larger one. Oh! Waited for the smaller one to heal. Then they flew off together. Should be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. Slizzard matriarchs! That doesn't sound good. So we've got a little slizzard and a mama slizzard. Baby slizzard and mama slizzard, basically. I'm going the wrong way. Use your witch senses to follow the draconids' trail. Okay. Do I do just... Ah, okay. Fair enough. Flew off together. Probably bound for their nest. Yeah. Which would be generally high up or in a ca... Okay. Trail ends here. Nest's up there. I bet the farm on it. Don't bet the farm... Yeah, yeah. You bet the farm on it. It's a pretty safe bet where you see the slizzard flying around. Mind you, I suppose I was betting that the nest was up there. I mean... Maybe the slizzard just likes that bit of mountain top. Night has fallen. Whoa. Okay. Is it sad that my first thought then was, oh, if night's fallen, that means time is passing and my villa will be closer to completion. Yeah, that is, that is almost certainly very sad, isn't it? Okay, now I've got draconid oil. Oh my god, that thing looks big. Now the slizzard. So the slizzard. Fort the fog mentioned. What? Fort. Are they? Are they going to come down here? Can I knock them out of the sky, or do I have to hit them once they're on the ground? Because usually, if I knock them out of the sky, I get a bit of. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! And lots more... Whoa! Tell you what, run away from the fire. Right, rethink time. Slizzards, tough. Slizzards, tough. Tough fight equals... Um, not a commander, a kid... No, I've already used a... All right, Tony Owl. Tony Owl, and is there anything that makes me immune to fire? All right, let's take the troll decoction. That's a new one, and it regenerates vitality during uh, and outside of combat, which is probably going to be very useful. Right, let's refresh the draconid oil as well. Um, okay, and uh, how about bombs? Salmon bomb? Okay. How am I missing this thing? That was hard. That was the wrong thing. That was the wrong thing in case in case anyone was wondering. Probably no one was. Whoa! Kill the little one! Kill the little one first! Kill the little one first, okay. Alright, oh yeah, I can knock him out of the sky. Oh no, that's the woody one. I've already killed the mama. I've already killed the mama. Now I feel guilty. Now I feel guilty. Get down! Oh god, that thing gets up quickly. Yes, it does. Oh, I should have killed. Right. Well, high time I collected a trophy. Rest of the eggs haven't hatched yet. Need to burn the whole nest. Right. Yeah. Oh god. Ah! That will do it. Usually, I actually do something a little more, like you know, give, place it, and then run away. Oh. Oh, this is me collecting my trophy, I guess. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I feel pretty... Well, not bad, but, you know, I killed the thing's mummy in front of it. Which is, you know... I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe I'm going a little soft in my old age, but... Just killing something... Mind you, then the other option would be... Killing a kid in front of the mummy. I mean... 
Okay, it, it's a bloody slizzard. Let's stop calling it mummy and baby, shall we? I think that's probably best for all. Where the hell am I? I'm at some sort of fort. And there is apparently a collection of loot to be had here. Including... Okay, Grandmaster Griffin stuff! I found... Was this... This is a purely accidental find, but there are three things here, plus a hint of where to find the rest, I guess. The Witcher I summoned reached Usar on the 12th of September. He made a favourable impression. I'd expected a cold killer, yet found myself speaking to someone who could easily have been mistaken for a normal man. If not for his expansive knowledge concerning the habits of monsters, the two swords on his back, the griffin head medallion on his chest, Jerome, as he was called, asked me a great many questions about the beast seen near Mont Crane Castle. Based on my responses, he concluded the monster in question was a lesion. During our next conversation, the Witcher expressed his astonishment at being offered such a high reward and one paid in advance before he even arrived in Tucson. I had taken a liking to the fellow and wanted to be honest with him. Despite the vow I had sworn, I revealed his pay came entirely from a certain Moreau, a mage who had decided to use this gift to thank our community for a warm welcome. When Jerome heard the mage's name, he first went pale, then flew into a rage and shouted, and I quote, Gonna give that old bastard a piece of my mind. Then ran to the stables, mounted his steed and rode off, leaving the greater part of his possessions behind. He was seen on the road to Montcrame, but then disappeared like a rock thrown in deep water. Master Moreau claims he never saw the Witcher. Oh! Moreau! Right. I wonder what happened at Moncron. It's probably not going to be good, mate. No, it's not. I've pretty much looted this place, but I'm trying to find some sort of underground entrance because right below here, it would seem there is a... I can't loot. Oh, I can loot this. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Or was that the body? That was probably the body. Um, right below here. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the sign for a... It is. It's a place of power. Right below here, only I can't quite seem to find the entrance. I've run around the outside. I've desperately tried to see some kind of entrance and I failed and there is a another draconid over there wait did oh whoa did I just see oh no that's my own shadow I saw my own shadow failing and I thought to myself well it, it's right on this level I'm at the right level now maybe it's this passage here but no, there's, there's nothing, nothing there, as far as I can see. So, I'm a little bit of a, of a loss. I need to find an entrance somewhere lower. I, I checked here, but couldn't see anything. And it says there's a layer up above, you see. Can I, can I jump up there, just to save myself a bit? I can. It says there's a lair right up there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I see it. I think I see it. God, oh, no. Don't die. Do I see it? Yes, I do. Ah. I see. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. <laughs> Right. Okay. Oh, got a, I've got a hole to draw. Hole to draw, and we get a, an ability point. Yay. How many do I have now? I've got six available points, and I was going to spend it here, wasn't I? I've... Ooh. 
where I've now got three greater red mutagens. Each fatal blow dealt by a sword dismembers the enemy or activates a finisher. Each blow dealt by a weapon in melee combat increases the attack power by 5% until combat ends to a maximum of 250% the bonus. I just don't... I, I, I think this is better. As long as I'm keeping myself with some toxicity, this seems to be better in my opinion, but... What would this one be? Each adrenaline point decreases damage received by 15... Okay, 45% damage resistance is not bad, but I'm not sure I want that one. That and the fact that I need more green ones as well as red ones. And I think I want to take this one so that I can unlock this. Yes, indeed. So that's three points. This one here oh, it requires green and red mutagens and five ability points. And honestly, looks kind of useless to me. Although, I mean, well, actually, I say kind of useless. It does actually make the crossbow do a huge amount of damage. But that's the one I want. And, and here's the stupid thing. I'm going to find out that I don't like it. I just want to see what this Witcher Senses help you see better in the dark does. Probably nothing. <laughs> I'm just kind of hoping that it means I don't need to use Cat. I, I, I would give up the extra strength from this or this. Or the extra crossbow damage. But just be able to go Witcher side, see better in the dark. Yes. Okay, well, I found the sign. That's good. There's... Can I get up here? Is there anything up here? Is this now going to be considered emptied? No, apparently not. All right. Well, I got the witcher gear that was here. I killed the creatures that were here, and I almost plummeted to my death. And I've looted the place silly. And so I think now it's time to not kill Roach. Sorry, Roach, that was just just my bad. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Don't be grumpy with me. Um, go back to the Bovine Blues Quarry. I know Slower. that's not what it's called. Okay. Roach, I'll be your best friend if you can tell me how the hell to get out of here without... Getting us both killed. Okay, this Fort Usair Ruins. Oh, we got a name for it now. I... Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. I I'm, I'm kind of going here eventually. I am, in fact, going here eventually. But... Oh, my God. I've, I've out-leveled the Grandmaster gear. Yeah, well. I, I want to go back here. I want to... I just... I want to stick with... You know, vaguely on one task at a time. I do realise that's next to impossible, all things considered, because I'm Come supposed on, to be doing one particular task that I am absolute. I'm getting off Roach because I'm going to get us both killed. We're on a slope. I don't. Is that a bar guest or a wolf? That's a slizzard, isn't it? That is a slizzard. All right, come on. Let's get it over with. Why are you flying down there? Come on. Come on. Come on. Boy, is he having the same thought as me? I'm going to drag him over this side, let him kill himself on the terrain. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And... Get him, get him, get him, get him. Whoa, that fast! Come on, 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 come on. Fire, watch the fire, watch the fire. Oh! He says! I actually tried to ard him. Come on. Oh, God. Nice repost, mate, but... Well, not repost, but nice counter. Come on, come on, come on, hard. Have you got you? Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, God. These things are insanely fast. Yes, they are. Come on. Oh, God. Really? I thought I dodged that one. Really? No, I'm gonna die. 
I'm actually, actually, actually in serious danger of dying here. Let's go for Quen. Get the Quen back. That means I'm not going to have Ard when he comes in for the fiery breath. Or the sharp teeth and claws, of which he seems to have a lot of as well. And... Come on. Really? He's dodging? That was actually some nice moves, mate. I, I, I'm fairly impressed. I think... I think I should have probably realized it was a sign that I was going in the wrong direction. 